Hey YouTube, how y'all doing today? Welcome to today's one day vlog. As always, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You guys should all, every day should be wonderful, all you guys out there. And that's what, that's about it. What I, so, what I've been doing my one day vlog is simply doing like my favorite things or the things I'm most looking forward to this year. But I'm going to do something I haven't done or Disney related. I want to list my top five favorite Disney restaurants. And this is for both continental, I mean... East Coast, West Coast, Disney, like, downtown Disney stuff. And these are restaurants I've been to. Remember, I've not been to all the Disney restaurants in the world, in the U.S. I do want to go to some of them. But, yeah. Without further ado, let's get on the roll. Okay, this is my opinion as well. So your opinion might be totally different. That's awesome because you should have a totally different opinion as well. But you have the same opinion as me. That's great as well. So, coming in at number five. On my top five restaurants at Disney and Disney Disneyland D Disneyland Resort and the Disney World Resort is Yak and Yeti at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now I ate Yak and Yeti because we had a dining package on my last Walt Disney World vacation, and oh my god, the food is really good. Like the whole atmosphere of this restaurant is really cool. Like they have a lot of cool like artifacts and and really cool things in the whole restaurant. That it's a really nice restaurant it does get crowded so like i want to say some of these restaurants uh do advanced dining reservations adrs so you can make sure you can get into these restaurants on your vacation because some of the restaurants do get really crowded but yeah the thing i ate when i went to yak and Yay, i believe was the sweet and sour chicken and it was really really well done it was really sweet it was perfect and i, I just loved it and then because we had did not have dessert and i had some sorbet and sorbet was awesome so yeah that is number five on my list so coming at number four is a restaurant. It's not really a like a rest. It's not really a restaurant. Restaurant. It's more of a buffet. But I have it on here just for the experience itself. So coming in at number four, I have the Crystal Palace at Magic Kingdom. Now Crystal Palace was we got there because we couldn't get be our guests for a dinner reservation. We ate Crystal Palace, one of our day at Magic Kingdom, and. When we were sitting in the restaurant, I'm like, oh, this is really cool. It's really nice. Uh, the food, the buffet food was it was really good. We had good food. And I remember it's a buffet, so it can be totally different. You can get warm food, cold food, or you can get anything. But the time we ate there was really good. But you're more there for the experience. And the characters, which the characters are poo characters. And, oh, my God, I had the greatest time of my life. Uh, I had a bouncing battle. I had, like, a little bouncing competition with Tigger when we did it. And it was just fun. Pooh was awesome. And now the cast members who were working there were the greatest too. My, I took all the pictures off my phone. And I'm like, my phone is dying. And I want to be able to get a picture with all the characters. And he's like, hold on a second. He actually he actually let us walk over to the characters. And after the Pooh finished with his, I got my picture with Pooh. And that was the last one I needed. So it was awesome. Cast members were great. Never really ran into a bad cast member. But yeah, Ca Crystal Palace, number four on my list. Because of the experience, the food quality was good, too. So, we are at number three. Now, number three may catch a lot of people off guard. Like, like whoa, what? I have Steakhouse 55. Now, Steakhouse 55 is really good, but I don't, I've never ate there for dinner. I actually, on my Disneyland vacation, we ate there for breakfast. And you're like, Steakhouse 55 at breakfast? What? I'm like, yeah, it's really good breakfast. Like, it was probably the best breakfast I've had at a restaurant. And so, like... Other than like the huge local places that I have near, Steakhouse 55 was amazing. The French toast was awesome. Eggs were not Disney, because sometimes Disney makes really, sometimes not their best eggs. Eggs were perfect. Everything was perfect. Service was good. Um, also, the whole atmosphere of Steakhouse 55 is, the, is awesome. I love all the old black and white pictures with Walt. I like all the color pictures of Walt. It's just a wonderful, awesome restaurant. Like I just love walking around, looking at pictures of Walt, Walt Disney. So, yeah, Steakhouse 55 is number three on my list. Now, coming at number two is a restaurant that I loved when I went on Disneyland. And you might have think what it is. And that's Blue Bayou at Disneyland. Now, if you don't know what Blue Bayou is, I highly recommend you go look it up and probably eat there. Because Blue Bayou is a restaurant in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Now, it's before... The whole battle scene, but it's like in a whole bayou, like it's New Orleans Bayou, where Pirates of Caribbean is. It's in Port Orleans. And you're just sitting there. Not Port Orleans. It's probably something else. I can't think of it right in my head. I'm really stupid for this right now. But 
you're on the water you're on the waterfront i highly recommend you get a waterfront seat as well because if you're going there like only once it's a you have to get a water seat the pirate can just go right by you guys it's like a whole it's a like common atmosphere i got the monte cristo sandwich and it was so good it was probably one of my greatest sandwiches i've had at disney park and that is why i have it number two the whole atmosphere the food was great the salad was great the breads were great service was awesome blue bayou number two highly recommend you guys go to it now coming at number one is i as i said i didn't go be our guest for dinner but i was able to be our guest lunch and we got mad king twice and be our guest was my number one restaurant and it was so good our first day i'm like we're coming back and going right yeah i'm gonna check this email i got see if we can get another lunch reservation so we got another lunch reservation i got a grilled ham and cheese sandwich on an od bread it was the best sandwich i've ever had in my life it was so good the the palm frites the fries were really awesome the atmosphere of vr guests is like oh my god i'm in a i'm in vr i am beast castle it's awesome and then the master's cupcake oh it's so good the cupcake itself was warm it was a warm doughy cupcake and then i had the gray stuff frosting and it's on top, but it's also in the middle as well of the cupcake. It was so good. The restaurant itself is beautiful. It was just a really great experience, and I love VR guests. So there are my top five. And then also, as a little consolation, I have I do have um Garden Grill at Disney's Epcot. Garden Grill, really good buffet, really good character dining experience. The food there is really fresh because they actually get it in the lamp and then like all this, like the fresh salad, the fish they had, and everything like that. So it was really good. Well, the salad, most I don't know if we got all the fish because Garden Grill goes through a lot. But yeah, those are my top five favorite restaurants at Disney. What's your top at Disney parks and downtown Disney and such? What is your top five restaurants? What are your favorites? What are your, what's your must do restaurant at Disney? Comment below, let me know. And as, and as always, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, day, evening, night when you're watching this because every day should be that for you guys. I love you guys as always, and I'll see you in tomorrow's one-take vlog. Goodbye.